Hi you guys and welcome back. I'm making this video for those of you who are looking for pet friendly places to stay here in Baguio and maybe are looking into Ozark. So here's what you guys can expect because I for one was clueless when I arrived. So Ozark Diner is very easy to search up on ways and this is the street where it will usually lead you. Now if it's traffic it can lead you from the other side but let's take it from here. Do note that it's a very sharp turn and a very steep climb so I would highly suggest that you guys take an SUV or a car with good pull so in my case I brought a van and so these are the parking areas where you can stay because when I arrived I was really clueless and it was quite full so I didn't know where to park so you can park here there are I think I'm not sure if it's owned by the owners but they also allow you to park along this side but the thing is you have to be careful and you can ask the staff to actually help you because uh, there are also other establishments that share this parking and you know the streets are not very wide so be careful with how you park your cars so upon entering this is the street you can also actually park here but they only allow sedans if I'm not mistaken sometimes when there's no one here they also allow the big SUVs but in my experience it was very hard to drive inside so this is the diner but we'll get to that later so I'll show you what you will see when you get inside first so here's the inside parking usually sedans and small cars are easier to park here um, this road may seem like it's very wide it's because I'm only one person but it's hard when you drive I tried it so this is the top deck and it has an amazing view absolutely stunning so it technically overlooks our track and I'm gonna show you later so it also has this fireplace or fire pit whatever and you can have s'mores and stuff you just have to request the staff to do it for you I'm not sure if you have to pay extra I never really tried asking so this is the field that I was talking about because Ozark is, behind Ozark is like a school thankfully when I was there it wasn't quite loud and yeah so that's still part of Ozark that white building it has three floors I think the one on top is the one where the owners live the middle one is the one where the diner is and then the bottom part is like I think their biggest place to be rented by like a group all right now let me show you around the diner so you go back the same way we skipped this part earlier right so when you enter this is what you will see it's also pet friendly meaning your pets can go inside I was just too lazy to take the girls because I'm taking videos this is how it looks like when you enter their staff is amazing that's Henry right there I was just too shy to ask him to like be part of the vlog and stuff <laughs> but anyway this is how it looks like and usually guests have like a two hour advance uh, leeway before it's open to the public so you guys can book them in advance and have your breakfast there before it gets open to the public or something so let's head to the rooms this is the parking thankfully there are no guests yet so there are two stairs this one is the staircase that I'm not a big fan of because the dogs are scared you will see later I have a video where there are holes in every single step so when I was taking the girl summer was struggling I well both of them were struggling so this is the first step down I wished I booked my room here but these are the ones that cost about I think 4,800 to around 5,000 or 6,000 I should have booked these rooms the ones that are worth 3,600 and stuff like that are the ones down there so the cheaper rooms are the ones downstairs so this is the safer staircase in my opinion the dogs were less scared of this area so this is the way down but if you have a lot of stuff it's a little hard to like get by so this is our room but let me show you what I'm talking about about the holes on the staircase so here's the hallway and this is what it looks like you see that it can be quite dangerous for small dogs but for large breeds I think it should be a little bit better and yeah so this is how it's gonna look like if you go down those stairs and it's very difficult if you have like a big luggage like what I brought in <laughs> And let's go inside the room. Ta-da! The girls are here. Okay, inside, inside, inside. Oh my gosh, I just have gone for, for Amber. Oh. Shoot. Okay, let's close it. And lock. Okay, perfect. Hi, you guys. Hi. You like our place? 
stuck. It's so cozy. <sighs> so this is the bathroom. My brother pooped here already. It's not so bad. Like, yeah, this is shower. Ooh. Okay, and then this is a closet. I don't wanna open it because it's scary. And there's a fridge, and then that's like another small closet. And um, I should have brought indoor slippers. They gave free cookies. Yay. And this is the bed. So this was originally opened, but the thing is, it's scary since. So yeah, this is the view. Not bad, huh? Right, girls? Because I don't want people knowing if there are like people inside or not. So that's it for our very informal Ozark tour. We hope it gave you an idea of what to expect, especially when it comes to parking, because for me, that's a big factor when it comes to booking a place, especially when you're traveling with dogs. And they are on Airbnb. We are not affiliates, but we will put the links in the description box below for those of you in the Philippines who want to book with them. See you next time.